Easter morning, so it's gloriously quiet for the most part. Just us non celebrant types. Some homeless people and the ubiquitous yuppie dog walkers. That will be today's theme. Now here's some pile of strange foaming slop that comes out of Gillette. It's presumably kosher with any luck. Makes for a colorful water feature. And you can tell it's kind of tidal. The water will come up to the level of that flume. Cover all this bladder rack. like Gillette goes through quite a bit of water. Coastal Annex system and the Boston skyline came from that away going this way. Pretty turbid. Jeez. Yeah, there's some more rail action. You can hear the building. Now it's mostly a straight shot. Kind of a point A to point B situation. But still quite good for the distant vistas of the earnest city. One of the sort of low-end rumble of locomotive engines. little industrial oh, that one's hats somewhat askance it's just being jaunty it just needs a seagull
there's an artful little parklet said to be from Gillette let's see it's got ah oh, yep he's talking about real estate my how the neighborhood has changed real estate speculation is the number one frenzied activity here. As if Boston can't believe that it actually ended up being valuable. Real estate speculation. One of the stupidest, most simple minded bullshit forms of capitalism. <laughs> complete with rent chasing and all the other empty horse shit that attends it. This is a perpetual moving feast for a current generation of property speculators. Now this is interesting. It's a bunch of Strange little markers about something that's dangerous. One could easily mistake it for an art project <laughs> since we have such puckish ones here, and you'll see an example of such as we round the bed. It's a cute little park. This little thing is called the Binford Street Park and was another item that the late Thomas Menino managed to pry out of the various oligarchs who foisted the costs of the big dig on people all around. You know, it was very skillful at getting something for the bullshit that the city would put up with. So this would be an example of the fruit of his effort. It's a pretty cool little place. flower beds that will no doubt be far more spectacular in better weather. Hey, that's something. <laughs> and to ratify my suspicion that yes, you're supposed to leash your butt, there's an official city pooch poop station, which makes it abundantly clear that you're supposed to keep the thing on a leash. But dog yuppies are special, and heaven knows they pay a lot to live here. I don't think they pay enough, though. We want confiscatory income tax structures. <laughs> So this is alternately called the South Bay Harbor Trail. I wonder if it was a real estate nomenclature argument with the real estate yuppies. But it's Harbor Walk. No, no, no. It's South Bay Harbor Trail. We want our distinctness after all. It's important to be special when you're entitled. Or it just kind of sucks the air out of the whole joy of being entitled in the first place. And 
so we head into the home stretch for this little segment. There'll be a few more cryptic art projects looming ahead. And then we go into a, an area where it passes along the edge of building. Ah, here's the civic plaque that tells us the structure so you can make sense of that foamy thing. And here we have an area where drunk people can fall in the drink. For some reason the fences weren't as urgent. So you can just go ass over kettle into the water. Boston does that shit. <laughs> doesn't necessarily follow its own rules. Every so often in the course of a year, another risk-prone, drunk-ass college student falls into the drink, drowns, and is eventually found in the number of days, weeks, or months later. <laughs> 